channel. So today I decided to film another tutorial for you guys um, and I kind of based it off of like summer nights and like a summer night out with your girls or something like that and so I decided to incorporate the Naked 3 into this because I absolutely love, love, love this palette and it just gives such a sexy sultry smoky look when you use a lot of these colors in here and i also found this beautiful nyx roll-on shimmer thing i used to use these when i was a kid but um i found this in the color salmon and i just like fell in love so i just had to use it in a look i really hope that some of you may recreate this look and if you do just tag me on instagram or facebook whatever so i can see it because i would love to see a recreation of this but yeah if you want to see how I achieve this look then just keep watching hey guys so first things first we're gonna go ahead and prime our face with benefit professional as usual and then I'm just going to jump into the eyes first I'm gonna prime them with soft ochre paint pot this is my absolute favorite primer because it just mutes out all the veins, all the darkness, as you can tell. And I know guys, my video was out of focus, so don't hate me. Here I'm going to take a big fluffy brush with the color Limit from the Naked 3, and I'm going to concentrate this on the upper half of my crease, so above my crease. And this is just going to be a great transitional shade for all the dark colors that we're going to be applying. Next, I'm going to take an E25 from Sigma. This is just a more tapered blending brush and the color Nooner. And I'm going to concentrate this on the outer corner and really put it in the crease as well. This is just going to kind of be a base for the dark color that we're applying next. And so it's just kind of a building up effect, if you know what I mean. Here I'm using a small tapered blending brush and I'm going to take the color Black Heart from the Naked 3 and I'm just going to focus this on the outer V and literally I'm going to make a sideways V on my eye. This is so it gives more of a cat eye effect and it really looks beautiful once it's all cleaned up and you have all your makeup on. So I know I'm going to look crazy for a while but this is what you got to do, okay? So I'm just going to pack on this color until I get it as dark as I want it. Here I'm just going to take that fluffy brush and add some more Nooner and I'm just going to keep adding Nooner to the crease just to deepen it up and deepen it up. I wanted it pretty dark so that's what I just kept doing. I took that E25 brush again right here and added some more black heart just to deepen it up and buff it out a little bit more. And here again adding some more Nooner to the crease. That's the, probably my favorite shade from the Naked 3 is Nooner. I love it. And here is that beautiful NYX shadow I was talking about. It is so gorgeous. It's in the color Salmon. And it is really powdery and glittery, so I did wet my brush with Fix Plus at first to try to get it packed on there. But it wasn't being as, it wasn't as vibrant as I wanted it to. So I did eventually take my finger and dip it into the Salmon color and just pack it on like that and it was so so much better so don't be scared to use your fingers if you are having a hard time with brushes for my brow bone highlight I'm gonna take the color strange from the naked 3 palette and I'm just gonna put this right under my brow bone and blend it out with a big fluffy brush For eyebrows, I used my Dip Brow Pomade in Chocolate. This is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And yeah, you know, kind of speed through it like usual.
To clean up my eyeshadow, I'm going to take the CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ageless Concealer, which is, they don't sell it anymore, but I still have some. And I'm just going to draw a line where my eye ends on the corner and really clean up that eyeshadow that was dragging down. And I'm just going to blend it out with my finger. This is the foundation that I'm obsessed with right now. It's the Becca Cream Foundation. I love it so much. It is so full coverage and feels so lightweight on the skin. I just absolutely love this foundation. It's so beautiful. And I went ahead and put on some gel liner. I used the L'Oreal Infallible one. And I am looking for a better one, a blacker one. So please let me know in the comments if y'all know a really good, really, really black gel liner. And I'm using the Ardell Demi Wispies right here. I love these lashes. For concealer, I'm going to use my MAC Pro Longwear in NC25. And I'm just going to put it on with my ring finger and then blend it out with my Real Techniques sponge. I love this concealer and I love the sponge too. <laughs> Since it is a summer night out, I'm going to contour with this cream foundation stick from Flower Beauty. I think this is in like the second to darkest color. And as you can see, I'm just normal contouring. But it's a cream, and I'm, so I'm going to blend it out with a duo fiber brush from Real Techniques. This is the stippling brush. I absolutely love this technique because it really makes your contour stand out, and it looks so beautiful in pictures. And to set that bronzer, I'm going to take a mineralized skin finish in dark. And this is just a powder from MAC and it's just perfect for contouring, especially for the summer because it has more of a warm undertone. And I wanted it more concentrated so I used more of a domed contour brush for my cheeks. And to set my concealer, I'm using my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Luminous Light. I love this powder. And it is just so freaking beautiful. To set my foundation, I'm going to take the IT Cosmetics. This is the Illumination Foundation, something like that. And I'm, it's in the color medium, and I'm going to just set everything else with that. For blush, I'm taking this Cargo Miami Beach blush, and I'm going to put this all over my cheeks and run it all the way back to my hairline. And then I'm going to take this really beautiful pink color from Stila. This was a limited edition color for Valentine's Day, I think. And I'm going to pop this really on the apples of the cheeks and run it back a little bit. But this is just a beautiful combo. I love this. Blend all the lines out. Here I'm going to take the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in bronze. I'm going to highlight my cheekbones down my nose. A little on my forehead, my cupid's bow, and my chin. As usual, always gotta have a glow, girl. To finish off the eyes, I'm gonna take a very small smudge brush and I'm gonna smudge black heart along the lower lash line. And you wanna make sure that you really buff this color out so it's not just a stark line. And for my inner corner highlight, I took the color Dust and I just popped it right in the corner. And for mascara, just taking my Tarte mascara and just doing a small coat on the top lashes. And don't forget to do the lower lashes as well. For lips, I'm going to take this clear lip tar and um, I'm going to put that on first. And then as you can see, you need a tiny, tiny amount. And this hot pink color is the color nylon. And it's just absolutely beautiful. It's just a perfect Barbie pink 
but I decided that I wanted to ombre it a little bit so I popped Divine Lip Tar in the, right in the center of the lips. And if my camera was in focus, you would really be able to tell, but hey, you know, technical problems, whatever. So yeah, that is the end of this tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe to keep up with me. But until next time, I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys. Let's see if there's a little stick on my teeth. I feel like there is, and there is. Okay. Tomorrow's way too far away. And we can get back yesterday. Okay, that's my nap. So, yeah, I. Uh, where. Oh my god, you can see my bra. Really? And create. I really hope that some of you may creep. Snapchat.